Welcome everybody to the regular May meeting of the Northampton Housing Authority. Um, I would like to call the meeting to order and ask uh, Jack Redmond to please call the roll. Absolutely, Chairperson Carney. Present. Vice Chairperson Richards appears to be absent. Commissioner Cancel. Here. Commissioner Brooks. Here. Commissioner Jones appears to be absent. Uh, and Commissioner Tarbutt in Springfield. Here. Thanks, everybody. And welcome those uh, members. Oh, you have somebody in the waiting room, just so you know, uh, Jack. Yep, it looks like Commissioner Richards is joining us at Let's five. Call her in, and you can we can add her to the to the roll. Commissioner Richards, we just called the roll. I think we still have time to ask if you're here, and note you're coming on at five thirty three. Uh, Marilyn, can you just indicate your presence by unmuting or otherwise letting us know? Here in spirit. Well, we, we see that, oh, Marilyn, you're oh. unmuted. You're oh. unmuted now and may indicate your presence. Okay, I'm here. Thank you. Okay, so um, I'm calling this meeting to order at 533. And as is our usual practice, we open with a public comment, which is broken presently into three sections mm -hmm. of resident comment, staff comment, and then for members of the public. So take it away, Jack, please. Thank you. So I see there appears to be two potential folks that might be residents. The first is identified just as laptop. Uh, it looks like you've joined us from a computer. So if you are able to unmute yourself, if you are a resident and would like to make a comment this evening, we just ask that you um, identify what property you live at and your full name. Uh, it doesn't look like they're unmuting. Um, so the only other person who would be eligible would be um, Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield joining as a resident. Um, would you like that opportunity this evening? Uh, sure. Um, okay. Hi, everyone. Um, or is yours? Okay. Hi, everyone. Um, I just wanted to note that uh, this past week, I don't know when it was. It was the night of the commission, city council commissioner. I was here on my desktop and then went in the room when they had a break, went in the bedroom. And as I looked out my window, I saw this. I saw this person look like they were going all the way into the back bend leg and all that. And I looked for like 10, 15 minutes. And uh, it, I had just seen something about two or three months ago on the radio. They're talking about the zombie like drug, it's supposed to be a mixture of animal tranquilizer. And I have seen one resident like that maybe five times, elevated all this stuff. I thought they were having a seizure. So I did contact the uh, police department and then they did and they came to take them away. But it makes me nervous because they came about during the pandemic and it was located mainly in Mexico and Philadelphia. Um, and then somehow it looks as if it is coming here. I know I've seen one resident at least five or six times. Last year, I haven't seen too much of it this year. And I saw that in our parking lot. So that's of concern. And if I sent some video of it, cause I had to go look this stuff up myself. I don't see how effective Narcan is with that. I don't know how the police, but, but anyway, that's a very much concern. So I would hope that since we are now acknowledging that there are drugs in this building, well, I've known that for 10 years living here, but there, there are issues that we should think think about. I think having Narcon here is a really great idea. I would like to know how to use it. I did look at some videos myself. You can say, oh, it's just a mist spray. And I looked at the video and the first thing I did was when they told you what I would do, they told you not to do it. I would have, you know, like you get a needle and you want to pimp, pimp, you know, to see if there's some in there. That's wasting. Don't do that. You might have to end up using two. So the four, when I got trained, when I worked in the methadone clinic, it was the intermuscular. So this is the, 
But I still think uh, residents are a little iffy about that. Like, oh, I don't know, what if they hit me in the back of the head? And, you know, so I think it would be more comforting if people got ideas to, uh, or were shown how to do it. I'm personally going to the Northampton Recovery Center. And I think the LTO may have contacted Tapestry, but I think that that would be um, an ideal thing to do. And um, also, I just want, I, I think I, 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 I heard something pretty, Pretty scared, pretty sad when uh, all the work that's going on, and I'd hate for it to be ruined by <sighs> gossip and innuendos and a uh, name calling. I call it preschool, not even. Um, and I had this quote I wanted to, and of course, of course, I can't find it here. But anyway, I have a quote. I think I will probably send it later on. But it's just about. Oh, here it is exactly, and I'll be done. One mistake you should never make in this life is to be is to allow yourself to be recruited by someone to hate or dislike another person who hasn't wronged you. Only a fool inherits other people's enemies as a sign of loyalty. And I don't know who the author is. Thank you. Thank you, Joella. Um, so I also have had um, someone identified as may join. If you're a resident, this is the time to speak. Um, you are able to unmute yourself, and then the other individual is KC. Um, so I, either of you are able to unmute, and I will give you the floor. Let me give May a second. Um, and KC, I'm going to ask you to unmute because I did mute you because you had some background noise when you joined. Um, so you may be being prompted to unmute at the moment. Okay, um, Chairperson Carney, I do not see anyone else eligible for this section. Would you like me to move on to staff? Okay, you're still muted, but I did read your lips and it said yes, so I'm going to give a second. For, um, I, I'm going to give the second for staff. They have the ability to unmute. Not seeing any, we are going to move on to the public. And again, there's a laptop in a May that I don't have identified. So if either laptop or May wants to unmute themselves, they can. Um, and then Casey, you're still able to unmute if you happen to not be the Casey who typically joins us. All right, final call. And we are moving on. I will close this section and pass it back to you, Chairperson Carney. Thank you, Jack. Um, and thank you for your comments. Folks, you have Jeff here also um, waiting in the waiting room and we'll note his joining the meeting at 540. Okay, so the next item on our agenda would be the executive director's report and the executive director is not present this evening, excused for uh, medical reasons. I'm sorry. Yeah, that was Jeff. I'm going to, um, Commissioner Jones, I'm just going to mute you for a little bit. Hi, Jeff. Oh, hello. Oh, that's no, case, it, it sounds like KC did unmute. Yeah, I just stuff. was able to unmute. Yeah, Thank you, okay. KC. Go ahead. I can't hear you, but I'm just going to read this little spiel I got here. Oh, oh. Um, I want to speak on a few A words, and if I'm here another 52 weeks, I'm going to speak on every letter in the alphabet. These words are assumption and accountability and ambition. Assumption is when the director assumed I had money because I bought a $2,000 Mercedes while I was saving money to fix my Volvo, which he towed. A board member whom I will not name assumed I'm uneducated since I'm from the deep south. The same board member assumed I had no right to park in handicapped parking, even with a hang tag. This board member continues to assume things. And I assume things about him as well, like his cognitive skills. I'm seriously concerned. But assumptions are still dangerous and they lead to unnecessary misunderstandings. I assume Kara had enough heart to at least call Ernie's where my Volvo was to be towed the next day. That's my mistake. And as far as the move Kara wishes to take up uh, at Hatfield Housing, 
it is maybe overly ambitious and I wonder why she cannot use some of that energy in helping properties and its occupants that are occupants that already exist. As witnessed by the Narcan boxes installed, we have a huge opiate addiction problem. These addiction problems stem from mental health issues, something that begs attention, especially at NHA public housing. Is NHA helping or adding to this burden? Of course, this is just my opinion. Tara does have burning ambition, so I'm curious why she doesn't use it towards helping end the mental health addiction crisis in NHA. Because I think it would be a shame for NHA to become known for being a safe place to use. And I think ambition and being skilled at a particular job, very important. Dealing with accidents waiting to happen is equally important. And I think Kara is very skilled at handling money. I have to question her people skills. That's my opinion, take it as you wish, but that's it. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Chapman, for your comments. If there are no other, then I think I'll continue to go on. Maureen, would you like me to read the executive director's report? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So just so folks know, I, I mentioned that uh, the executive director is not here this evening and has asked Jack to deliver that uh, portion of the agenda, the executive director's report. Thanks, Jack. Thank you. Our gross potential rent this month was $220,801. We collected $208,084 of that, which is a collection percentage of 94%. Our delinquency this month was $129,000. That's down $10,000 from what we ended in March. And recertifications, we had $191 for public housing and $56 for our Section 8 program. Public housing, they recertified $161, leaving $30 due to missing documents. Section eight, they were certified 53, leaving three um, incomplete. Our state family applicants reached 21,566. Our elderly disabled list for the state reached 5,519. We had seven move outs in public housing, two in section eight, four move-ins in public housing, and um, four move-ins in section eight. We have two folks on notice. At the end of April, we had zero units that were ready. We had um, 10 recently vacated units, all of which are pre-leased. The maintenance team completed four work or four turnovers, um, which three of which three of which were full rehabs. Um, in the month of April, leading into May, um, we collected 341 work orders, completing 274 having 57 left over from the previous month, ending this month with 67 incomplete. At the last meeting, um, a resident expressed some concerns about bed bugs and someone living in a car uh, and some noise that they were causing. Um, the um, At last month, we had a final treatment and canine inspection that cleared the building of Salvo House. I'm just gonna mute this person. Um, oh, hold on. Sorry about that. Maureen, I don't know if you're clicking the button at the same time as me and it's unmuting them. Okay, I'm going to keep going. Um, so um, the management team has contacted the resident who we believe is the the male who was commented on um, was visiting and we have since had no complaints about that noise. Um, I am very, very excited on behalf of Director Leeper to report to the board and those residents who are on this call that all 90 of the stoves at the Walter Salvo house have been replaced and we have received some very happy reports of actually boiling water and pasta and all of the baking things that come um, with a working stove and oven. And so um, we thank HLC for stepping up and replacing those stoves. They were originally, um, of course, as you all know, the agency who purchased those and um, that is now rectified. 
Um, additionally, with um, the garden season upon us, we're happy to say that we have had an increase in interested residents in gardening um, and have added six new plots to the community gardens at Salvo. A special thanks to Grow Food Northampton for making this happen and su supporting our community gardens year after year. Um, residents can expect to receive their assigned plots by the end of this week. We are also excited to announce a continued partnership with the Northampton Public Health Department. They will start having a presence at our communities on a rotating basis, providing various health education opportunities, including preventative care, such as blood pressure checks. Um, residents on this should um, look forward to upcoming flyers regarding these meet and greets. So ends the executive director's report for May. Thank you, Jack. And I just ask commissioners with questions about that to direct them via email as usual. And I will go on to the next item on the agenda. Point of order. Um, um, What's uh, the order? Chair, point of order. Is, is there a way that that can be mailed out to people? I didn't see that in my packet, executive director. Appreciate it. Thank you. I see Jack nodding. Right, yep, Jack? I'll, yep, I'll go ahead and, and mail that out. Okay, thank you. Next item on the agenda the approval of the April 2024 regular meeting and the April special meeting minutes. So I guess the first thing before I ask for any additions, corrections, and deletions, I'll take them one at a time, is I'll ask if there is a move to approve the uh, minutes for the regular April 2024 meeting. Motion to approve. And I think... I see Commissioner Richards trying to second. And I read the lips, but for some reason, can you say it again? Why aren't we hearing? Why aren't we hearing? All right, how, will people accept a thumbs up if I ask Commissioner Richards, do you second? Okay, so if people will accept that, I'll consider it moved and seconded. Now open for discussion, any deletions, additions, corrections, and Commissioner Tarbett. Uh, hello. I I wish on the on the note that we had. I wish they would have said regular meeting. That I did see both of them, and I I got a little confused. But I on the comments. Uh, there are a couple of things on the the minutes that I'd like to bring up. One is um little things on the tenant comment, and it said my name. There's no space between Joe and Ella. It's just a hyphen between Tarbud and hyphen Springfield. And so, um, but I think what was written here is not exactly what I said. And I would like to, I sent a copy of it to um, Jack Redman, what I said. And if I could read that, because I don't, I don't want to go through space, comma, whatever, if I could read it and I sent out a hard copy, if that's permitted. I wrote, um, okay. In last, month, in last month's NHA board meeting, I asked about the status of the sightings and treatment of bed bugs reported again at Savo this year. As I reported, I saw the exterminator's van with the heat treatment hose going to an apartment on the third floor. To date, I haven't received anything from NHA board or the administration because of, because of the devastation from last year bed bug infestation. Residents are anxious and fearful, especially not knowing what's going on. This year, unlike last year, I'd like to acknowledge that it seems as if it was a quick response to the notification and treatment of bed bugs. It still would be beneficial if all tenants and residents on all properties had regular ongoing educational training on bed bugs. Also, I'd like to report that a couple, white female, Asian male, is living in the car in the Savo parking lot. One morning around 2 a.m., I was awakened by loud voices screaming, crying, and yelling from the parking lot. As I looked outside my bedroom window, I saw the woman crying and screaming at the Asian man who took off running down the street. Police were called. A year or so ago, the same couple had similar problems with her crying and running after him. The mother of the Asian male lives at Savo, I believe, I'm almost certain. It was reported to the NPD and the property manager the, and the following day, the couple and their car had gone from Savo. So if we're gonna vote on that, I'd like that to be inserted. If not, I'll have to say, no, I'm a little nervous voting on it. That's not included, but I did send that exactly to, but I need I, I didn't need to read it. And there are a couple other little things I have. Well, well let's take them one at a, let's take them one at okay. a time. 
so for this one, I think you're asking for a correction to the minutes as recorded. Revision. And, uh, uh, correction. We call them additions, corrections, or deletions. It wouldn't be an addition. It wouldn't be a deletion. What about think, revision? We don't have, we, no, what we ask is for a, a correction and revision are the same thing. Okay. So you want to, we're not allowed to revise, meaning say what we I meant. I just meant my comments. Okay. All right. Yeah. Again, Thank you. Again, we want to take this. We want to take this up because it does happen frequently. Um, Jack, do you have the actual? We have a transcript, a written transcript, I think, of the meeting. You could screen share. Oh, oh goodness! You have, you have the transcript. What we have as the recorded the recorded minutes submitted and where they have been moved for approval. And we have also, uh, sounds like, well, it sounds like the correction that um, Commissioner Tarbutton sent to you, I think she said, and also, also to me. So um, can folks see these on the thing? And I, I guess it would help if in the um, transcript, are you scrolled to the actual comment from Commissioner Tarbutton? Yep, I am. So this is so on the left again, just to clarify, um, is the minutes that were produced um, and sent to the board. The middle is the transcript that Zoom provides at the end of each of our meetings. And on the right here is what um, Commissioner Tarbutt and Springfield sent me right before the meeting. OK, well, so I'll just remind folks that. Um... You know, we're asked to not really submit the actual transcript as the recorded minutes just because um, they're too hard to read. And the point is for it to be readable. It still is our requirement to record what was said. And it's not appropriate to have additions, meaning additions you wish you had said this, or this is what you meant or something. I think that that can be addressed in the future. Well, actually you addressed it tonight and it would be recorded as your comment for this evening as a resident comment. But so um, do you wanna look at these and folks can uh, consider- yeah, I, It's giving me a headache. I, I can't see that small. So can if you, you just send put, it to me. Can, why don't we do them one at a time, Jack? Can you screen share we'll just all night. the transcript? Okay. Because we all have to vote on this, not just you. Just the transcript and folks can look at that. And if folks have the ability to make that uh, using their own device to blow it up in whatever way they need to, to be able to read it. Person Carney, may I make a comment? Please. So the the biggest discrepancy in the transcript and what um, Deb has produced in the minutes is the the last part of um, what was sent to us this evening. Um, there's a lot more detail about the race of the individual, the times. Um, that stuff was not in the original part. Um, and then there's only one change, um, uh, I think, and I don't mean to speak for you, Commissioner Tarbot and Springfield, but um, Deb wrote exactly what um, she had said, which was uh, particular people, residents aren't anxious um, and getting a little bit hyper. Um, I think Joella's intention was to say anxious and fearful, and that's what she um, submitted to us as the correction. Um, Deb and the transcript both use that word hyper. Um, and so that's the only main differences from what I was able to see. Discussion. Only one pers person was hyper. The other people were fearful. So like what's it's going on? It's not about what was, it's about what was said. Okay. We have to record what was actually stated in the meeting. Mm -hmm. Well, a lot of these things that are stated, like the last time you said verbatim, and it wasn't, I didn't say, you know, I wasn't Ricky Ricardo, I, yeah, 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 but that came in there. And I but think that- we, addr we addressed that by deleting- I know, that's why I wanted to make sure the clarity here, because I don't know what people mean. I didn't say Asian and white, I did 
I, I, I meant to. I mean, that's why I'm writing everything down, but that, that's definitely the description. I don't know if you want to put that in parentheses and add it, but I uh, wanted to be clear. It's your motion. It's your it's your correction that you've submitted for all of us to vote for. Well, I have I have it. I, what I submitted is what I'd like to be voted on. OK, so is there other discussion among members of the board, whether they would accept the recorded minutes as submitted to you? Uh, by the recording sec by the secretary to the board. Or if you would um, want to accept as a correction that which has been submitted and in, in its written form spoken in, and also in the written form sent to us by Commissioner Tarbutt. And I see um, Commissioner Richards, please. I, I don't know why we can't hear you. Can you, anything with your your mic? Is You had your mic on, well, it doesn't say off. Damn. I'm wondering if you can unplug your headset, Marilyn. Yeah, yeah. take your headset off. Uh, unplug your headset, Marilyn. You hear so me now? Using, yes, we can. Okay. Uh, my suggestion is, is that we approve the minutes per transcript and submit um, Commissioner Tarbutton uh, uh, statement in the in the minutes to, for today just makes it easier. Well, um, I'm not sure what you. Oh, I see. Well, they will be included actually as spoken and as submitted in her resident comment portion of today's minutes. Is that what you're speaking about? No, I'm speaking about what she submitted. And um, some of it, as as she said, um, was a couple of them were corrections, a couple of them were things she meant to say. And I suggest that we submit that uh, with with today's minutes when they're written and approved. I mean, written and uh, in the transcript. Okay, I guess well, I have no, to ask uh, of the I, mean, I would I'd agree to, to that. The maker oh, of the motion. I'd have to ask oh. the maker of the motion. I think she's trying to say that she agrees to that. Is that what you're saying? I, I would agree with that, but I do not want it at the back of the page. Like one time that happened when I made some revisions. If you put you that want, there, you want it at there, the beginning? Would you like? I it want it to be a part of that. Uh, if you want to put what what was there, the transcript and what I said, that's fine. But I don't want the transcript on page ninety nine of the minutes. So. Okay. Further Thanks. discussion. Okay, um, seeing none, I'll ask then if uh, the um, if we're ready to take a vote on accepting the minutes as corrected with the suggestion that that be inserted, the correction as a correction. I don't know, so let, I'll have to say that I, I'm actually, I would be confused by that if I were a member of the public then reading the minutes because there's the recorded minutes and then there is something right after that suggests that this is a... Um, I su I suggested that we approve the minute the minutes as sent to us per transcript, and then in not our transcript we 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 don't we don't actually write the transcript well, okay the transpose yeah. I know what you mean but I just okay for the public. and then and then s submit Commissioner Tarbutton's uh what she intended to say or wanted to say in a you know a couple of spaces and whatnot in the in the next month's minutes as she presented it today is is that what you is that your understanding mm -hmm. commissioner tarbutton no okay so we're back was, to the i'm original. talking april meeting i'm talking april that would be even confusing to have what i'm saying today in may's because i just did something for may's uh, meeting when i'm talking about the well uh, it's going to be it's going to be recorded well I, I, do what you want to it's fine i'll just vote no okay. but go ahead do whatever you want i said it whether or not you put it in there I have no control over that. Any other comments on this? Because right now, hmm, right now, uh, then I, um, hmm. 
I, I think what we'll do first is we'll vote on Commissioner Tarbutton's suggestion to add a correction to the minutes, and then we'll move back to the original motion, which is accepted, the minutes as submitted. Yeah, if the motion, I'm sorry, if the motion does not carry to accept Commissioner Tarbutton's um, uh, correction to be included in April's minutes, if it does not carry, then we're back to the original vote on the approval of the minutes as submitted. So first, um, I'll ask then if the if Jack will uh, call a roll on whether to accept the correction submitted by Commissioner Tarbutton. And this is for in line with the existing minutes that were sent. Yeah, yeah she's correct? asking us to correct the minutes, meaning have what was submitted and have in blue or in with some notation that says Commissioner Tarbutton's correction and then and have that included in the, the recorded and submitted for official purposes <clears throat> meeting minutes. Okay. Commissioner Carney or Chairperson Carney? No. Vice Chairperson Richards? No. Commissioner Jones? Abstain. Commissioner Brooks? No. Commissioner Tarbutton? I don't know. Um, I'm sorry, I was had to turn it on. Um, uh, of course, I asked for them, so yes. And then um, Commissioner Cancel? Yes. Um, so that's three no's and um, two yeses. Actually, it's two no's, two yeses, and one abstention. Am I correct? Yeah, sorry. The Attorney O'Connor has always taught me abstentions cancel out. So I was just telling well, you. Just, we we want to sorry. record it as an abstention. What it would need, it would need three yeses to carry. And so because it does not carry, that motion fails. Okay, back to the original motion to accept the minutes as I'm submitted. I have questions on some other stuff that was written. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's there's more. Uh, are you offering a correction or? A... Well, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm not into the names, but I just noticed on one thing here. We're all. I mean, just for consistency, we're all listed with our commissioner, or whatever, and then the ED is just going very casual, Kara. So I, I know it's. I just think that it would be first and last name if we're going to be doing that with all of us. That should be for consistency in the document. Um, and then on page three of five. Uh, I don't want, if you want to go through all these transcripts and do it again, you're more than welcome. But on three or five, when Commissioner Springfield, uh, Tarbon Springfield said, when you said LTO, is that, L is that LTO recognized by the Mass Union of Public Housing Tenants? And I said, during the most recent training, you know, the self-paced by NHA board members were required to take by April 15th. It said there was a distinction with an LTO to be with recognition of the Mass Union Public how public housing tenants you need to put that in there. And I said, let's get some clarification with this stuff because it seems muddy. Thank goodness for the training. I'm glad I got the transcripts. So I, I, I got the transcripts of all the meetings. So I would like, uh, of all the training. So I would like to bring that better prepared to answer some of the questions. So that's what I put there. Okay. The first one sounds like it's a correction and that would be to actually identify the full name rather than just the name Kara. The second point that uh, Commissioner Tarbutton raised sounds like sounds also like it would be a correction because uh, Commissioner Tarbutton says that there is something that she said that is different than what was stated in our submitted recorded meeting meeting minutes. And um, I'll just ask Jack, is that you know so the folks can see whether that is what was said. That's our legal obligation to just write what was said. If it's something that that was meant to be said or, you know, substantially different, then that would be something that wouldn't be included in the minutes. OK, go ahead. Can folks see the transcript? Maybe you can help us point out. To, so, yes, wherever it says Carol, we know we should change that to be um, Carol Leeper. 
and or executive director Carol. Okay, my insert goes into it says during and the insert the most recent training. See during and then I put the most recent training self paced that NHA board members were required to take by April 15th. The more recent before training and self paced after training. Okay, so that's a that's a correction that you would like to offer. Yes, and, and on but I don't see that in the transcript. I, that's not in the transcript, Commissioner Tarbutton. Are you saying it's you actually said that? Or are you saying you wish you had said that? Well, I, I, uh, when we're talking about different trainings, we've been going through a variety of trainings. I meant the the one required by NHA board members. So that was a difference. So all of us had to go through that by April 15th to keep our position as the board. It was in there. I'm sorry, you're saying you said that, but the transcript Well, didn't if I out. did, not should have. I meant to. Oh, yes. So that's what we meant. So unfortunately, those things that we wish we had said. I heard it before. I'm just telling you what I'm putting. If you don't want to put it in there, that's fine. I'm just putting it on record. Do, so do, I you, want, do you want to offer? Are you still wanting to offer that as a correction? or are you Well, I would, but if you don't want to, I don't want to go through all this. We'll be well, here the all only day. Way we know, I, the only way I'd know whether people want to or not is to go ahead and ask people to vote on it. I don't know. Because I have two more things. We'll be doing this all night. Just on so. But I understand we're doing it all night. I understand, but these are corrections that you have every right to offer. Thank you. Okay, so I hear that there are at least these two. I would ask that we consider at least these two as a group. Well, no, let's take them one at a time. If that's okay, because I know that there's one that I would support and one that I wouldn't. One is merely a clarification of names for for the purposes of understanding people reading and understanding who Kara is. The other are two insertions that Commissioner Tarbutton wished that she had said for clarification purposes and but weren't said actually in the in the minute meetings. So and why I, we I just a... Madam Chair, I just have a question. I understand that it said the uh, the the minutes doesn't have to be verbatim, just as long as you get the gist of it. So that's why I wanted to, uh, I'm putting in the clarification. So if we're making this whole thing like this, fine. But that 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 was my meaning behind this. I understand. Let's take the first item, which is to make sure that we have the clar the correct names of those that spoke. And um, Jack, would you ask if folks would accept that um, correction? To the minute meeting, and meeting are we meetings. putting Secretary Leeper based yes, on? Yes, you could. Ju you could just put Secretary yeah. Leeper as it's, far as uh, I'm uh, concerned. Uh, isn't it official? Because th th that's a function. Well, ex officio is a separate matter than the person's okay. name. Well, would you like Director Leeper? People already know that the person is ex officio just because it says not, not, not really. But I'm just saying, it, it, if it's Director or ED. Other than psych, because that's another issue I want to bring up. Oh, okay. So actually, then why don't you just tell us what the actual title, and then we'll all vote on whether we want that to be the corrected uh, uh, name. You want to tell us what you'd like to put there for Kara? Kara Leeper or Ed Kara Leeper. Which Kara one? Leeper. Kara Leeper. Okay. So the the motion is to accept Kara Leeper, where it says Kara. I think you should call the roll on that, please. Okay, Chairperson Carney? Yes. Vice Chairperson Richards? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Tarbutt in Springfield? Yes. Commissioner Cancel? Yes. Thank, Thank you. you, that motion carries unanimous. And okay. Yes, and on the ahead. second one, I, I, I'm getting a headache, so I'll skip on page four. But on page five, um, when I asked, did we lose Commissioner Richards? The chair acknowledged, but you did put this in here. Chair acknowledged that Com Commissioner Rich Richard is no longer in the meeting. And uh, no notice or anything. It was just a disappearance, more or less. So I'd like to put that in there. Why don't you pull up the recorded minutes so that we know what we're inserting? I don't have the recorded minutes. No, I'm asking Jack for the other. Oh, people. okay. I'm sorry you didn't say that. Jack, would you put up the recorded minutes so that okay.
Yeah, I, so, so again, I think um, Deb is just putting a summary of the minutes. Mm -hmm. We can put a little bit more detail if you'd like, but um, Commissioner Tarbert and Springfield's um, referring to her comment, did we lose Commissioner Richards? Um, and, I, and then the commissioner, uh, uh, the chair acknowledged that Commissioner Richards was no longer in the meeting. I don't know why that's not in the transcript. Why and did I, that not? Why did not? Maybe I'm not. Maybe my maybe my mic was off and you read my lips. Uh, no, I'm not that good. I don't know why. I don't know why Zoom did not pick that up. I can't remember that transaction myself. Do other folks remember, or is this? How do we want to deal with this? Would you like to just go ahead and add some part that I think? How how did you remember it, Commissioner uh, Tarbutton? That the the I said uh, um, said the because I remember you saying no, I don't think so, and then you said, oh yeah, she Commissioner did uh, Richard uh, is no longer in the meeting. Okay, so I hey I don't care if it puts in there. I don't know why it must it must be that my was muted and somehow everybody else saw it, but the transcript didn't pick it up. I don't know. Do folks feel like it's important to put in that the chair acknowledged that um, Commissioner Richards had dropped off for those minutes? Those the minutes? reason why I'm saying that is because we just voted on a, 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 a adjourning, but we say when someone comes in and the time, I'm just asking for consistency. There's not, I'm, I'm not trying to put a slight on anyone, but I'm just saying, I noticed, hey, somebody's missing. And then you said, no, I don't think so. And then you said, oh, yes. So I think that that should be a part of the records because that's what's happening. There's no, I understand. No I understand. I'm just, I just don't know why the transcript didn't pick it up. It well, could, it happens a lot with me. Hmm. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, uh, this is a correction offered by Commissioner Tarbutton. D is there any discussion, or do you want to just move to whether you want to accept this correction, folks? Shall I call the roll? Yeah, first, I think that we want to make sure exactly what it is that Commissioner Tarbutton wants, because I think she wants two additional lines. One that says, Chair Carney acknowledged by saying, yeah, I think she dropped off. And then the second part, what was the second part of it? Chair Carney did what? You said, no, I don't think so. And then you say, yeah, actually, well, yeah, she's not here. Okay, so um, Commissioner Tarbutton would like to add what she remembers as remarks as the Chair Carney saying, no, I don't think so, dot, dot, dot. Oh, yeah, she's not here. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah, and I don't know the time. I didn't pay attention to the time. Well, it must be right. It must have been right in then because it doesn't appear anywhere. And obviously it must have It was have right been before there. someone made the, adjourn, uh, the, made the uh, motion to adjourn. So I don't know what time it was. So I can't say. Okay. All right. Um, do you want to go ahead and call the roll and ask folks if they want to accept that correction? Yes. Can you uh, rest restate the motion? To add two lines to the existing minutes, Chairperson Carney. So right now it reads that Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield says, did we lose Commissioner Richards? Then Chairperson Carney says no, and then says, yes, she did. That's what I've written down and recorded. Is that sufficient? Commissioner Tarbutton, is that okay? Yes. Are you okay with that, Maureen, what I just said? I'm not the maker of the motion. I'm just going to, you know. Okay, so then I'll, are you, is that enough, um, uh, Commissioner Richards, for me to now call the roll? Because I think you I were the one. That the question. Okay. I wasn't even there. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, <laughs> Chairperson Carney. Um, I'm going to say no because I don't remember it myself and I only have the transcript to rely on. So that's just my reason for saying no, not because I don't, you know, I just, you know, I'm Vice not going to add that correction myself, a vote to add that correction. Vice Chair Richards. Abstain. Commissioner Jones. Abstain. Commissioner Brooks? No. Commissioner Tarva no. Springfield? Yes. Commissioner Cancel? Yes. Yeah. So we have two abstentions, two no's, and two yeses, which means 
if I'm no. correct, Attorney O'Connor, that it does not carry? I think he's indicating one would, we, we would that's need to, that's yeah. correct. Okay. So then that brings us, if we, if we don't have any further additions, corrections, or deletions, that brings us back to the original motion, which is to accept the submitted recorded minutes for April. Chairperson Carney? Yes. Vice Chair Richards? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield? No. Commissioner Cancel? Yes. Okay, Thanks. and just so folks know, even though we've accepted those minutes, we also accepted the correction for the correct title of the speakers during the during the minute, meeting minutes. Phew. Okay, so now we have the next item, which is the minutes of the April special meeting. I'll ask if there is, in order to put it on the floor and have discussion, a motion to approve. Second. Motion to approve. Moved by Commissioner Brooks, seconded by Marilyn Richards, although she seconded before we, uh, he actually said it. So um, now it's open for discussion. Commissioners, please. I'll ask first if there's any additions, corrections, or deletions. Hearing none, I'll ask the uh, standing secretary to call the roll, please. Chairperson Carney? Yes. Chair Vice Chairperson Richards? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield? I'll say no. I did have something I forgot to bring up. It was on the back page, so I'm going to say no for that reason. Commissioner Cancel? Yes. Thank you. Thanks. That motion carries. And that brings us to the next item of business, which is under new business. First being the discussion that um, Commissioner Tarbutton requested regarding the difference between recording secretary and secretary to the commission. Would you like to go ahead and start us off on that, Commissioner Tarbutton? Yes, I asked around, you know, there was a meeting with the Massachusetts Union of Public Housing Tenants. So I asked around, how many, because I saw it on a letterhead or something where it was, you know, Kara you know, Lee for executive director. I mean, it felt like a, a, a paragraph of all the things. And it said something. I didn't know it said secretary of the commission or recording secretary. I don't know. It seems like they've been interchangeable. And I, when looking at that, it almost seems like that that is a part of the board. And that's how I read it. Whereas um, ex officio secretary is a function not a title. So, and that's exactly what I heard this weekend. So I'm just saying a consistency. I, I think she wears many different hats. You know, she is the executive director of uh, East Hampton and Huntington and Cummington and uh, possibly even Hatfield. So uh, do, does she put that recording secretary to all these different agencies as well? I just think that um, we don't want to go overkill. And um, that's it. So I would like for it to be one or the other, but not on as a title. I think that's where we get into some trouble. Well, we can get into some trouble. Let me clarify that. Any responses? Actually, I'd like to table this to the so the executive director could be a part of this discussion. It kind of seems kind of strange to talk about this and she's not even here. And, you know, I wouldn't want to vote something when somebody's not here. I know I wouldn't want that happening to me. So I would like to table this into the next meeting so we can just have a discussion. And um... Chairperson Carney, if I could chime in here for a second or two. For sure. Um, I would just point out what the law says. You know, I'm the, the attorney and I'm going to just focus on what, what the law says. Chapter 121B, Section 7 says... Executive director shall be ex officio secretary. So she is the executive director. She is the exio, ex officio secretary by statute, not because the board says so or anybody else says so. She 
was hired to be the executive director by the board. Once she's the executive director, she is also the ex officio secretary. I think some confusion comes in because this quote unquote recording secretary, and I'm, I'm not really sure what's meant by that, but what I think is meant by that is the person that is responsible for taking the minutes. You might consider them a secretary of some sort, um, a minute taker, and that is something very different. You know, that's the open meeting law, chapter 30A, section 22. It doesn't use the word secretary anywhere in the body of the open meeting law, nor in the regulations do they use that word secretary. The only thing both chap both uh, the statute and the regulation state, and it's pretty much verbatim both, a public body shall create and maintain accurate minutes of all meetings. It doesn't say who takes them or who directs that they be taken. It just requires that they be taken. So I'd suggest in the absence of using that language, it would be up to the chair to delegate the task of recording the minutes. Um, and and that's, that is handed off to Kara, who then hands it off to the person at the Housing Authority, Deb Dumphy, who, who yep. painstakingly does our minutes. But that term, secretary, is not used as far as the open meeting law goes. So I don't know if that sheds any light on anything, but um, I would just loop back. Kara is by statute the ex officio right. secretary. I'm sure that that really helps at least members of the public who might not have heard those distinctions in the law, and we appreciate it. I think I heard Commissioner Tarbutton, she didn't make the motion, but I think she wants to make the motion that we actually postpone this discussion. No, we're, we're, if he's here now, uh, Tom said something, Madam Chair, if I may, he said Wait. something I agree with. It is called, here, I, I got that. He put it in our book. It is called ex officio secretary. If that's the consistency and that's what she is by statute and by law, then let her be called that. Secretary to commission, you know, or recording secretary. If you are, and this is what you say you are, why don't you, but then does that mean on the letterhead, you have to put it to every one of these management take over things that you have to put that there for all of them. I mean, it's one thing, ex officio secretary, and then that's a bigger question that we should get when we talk to her, does she have to put that with everyone? Because if it's in one letterhead for us and a different letterhead for all of those, I just would like some clarity. Okay, well, I know that we have this listed as discussion on the agenda. So okay. I'm gonna again ask if there is anyone else because I didn't hear Commissioner Tarbutton repeat that she would like to report and certainly not a motion. I think the major this. problem is this. Please, Commissioner Brooks. Okay. Kara is the ex officio um, person of this board by statute and also by our bylaws. As is the case in most um, um, such meetings. What happens and what she is called at Huntington, Cummington, Worthington, and Hatfield, and wherever else should not concern this board. That's her concern. Not as a not as the not as the director of Northampton, but as the acting director of those other boards. We've opened up a whole can of worms by allowing our director to become a salesperson for herself on the internet, on all these meetings. I know that all of you think that we're, we're performing um, a civil duty because they, those people do not have um, uh, directors or boards themselves because most of their boards have died off. Um, but I think that um, Kara is, is the boss here, is the director here, and that's, that's the only thing we should be concerned with. Can I respond? Sure. No, I'm asking the chair, can I respond? Sorry, I'm just wanna first ask, is there anybody else on the board here who wants to, jump in because I don't hear that this is going to actually be postponed. So um, 
Yes, please, Commissioner Tarbutton, please respond. Well, if the term is, and the boss, we're the boss, we're the board. And we an oversight of the executive director who is doing the operations and run it. I mean, we are, and then the legislators of, above us. So we are. And the problem is, I don't care what she says. I just got some information that had all this on there. But the thing is, if it's going to be ex officio secretary, I have no problem with that. Just for future meetings, I'm just going to put out there that at 627, oh, Marin Richards just returned. So I didn't want it to come up on the minutes again that Commissioner Richards left. So she has returned. Okay, thank you, Jack. It sounds like that was a little technological glitch there. She may have been gone for a minute. We don't know. I, yeah, I'm here. I'm here. I thank, just you. Had thank you, Commissioner technical. Richards. I'm asking, um, since it doesn't, I haven't heard um, actually the request or a motion to postpone this discussion to the next meeting and folks are actually engaged in some discussion. Anyone else want to uh, chime in on this discussion? Yes, Commissioner Cancel, please. I would love to, I would love to move on. Well, before I move on, I just want to make sure everybody who wants to uh, chime in, because this is there's no motion on the table, in which you could certainly call the question. But there's seeing there being there is no motion. I'm just going to assume because I see no further hands. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton. This was a great discussion. I don't know what else to do with it. There is no motion on the table except to move on then. Period. Okay, thanks everybody. Opening up my agenda, but I think the next item of business is actually the motion, which is to approve the change order that Jack will read about. And then I'll ask if there's a motion from the floor. Jack, please. Thank you. So um, we are in the final stages of a um, hot water replacement project at the Cahill development on Fruit Street. Um, there is just one final punch list item. In order for us to make the final payments to the vendor, um, there is a slew of change orders. Um, I'm hoping we can vote on them all together. Um, they total $2,711.62. Change order number one is due to the relocation of some valves from um, one side of the boiler room in the A building to another, um, and that totals $1,447.06. Change order number two is actually a credit of $1,319.31. That is because the contractor during our test building, which was unit A, utilized a brass valve versus a um, carbon steel valve. Um, the manufacturer of the boiler stated that a um, brass valve is sufficient. So um, they gave us a credit back for um, installing the quote unquote incorrect valve um, even though it's functioning and working. Um, change order number three has to do with a change in um, the location of the flu um, coming off of the boilers. Originally, it was going to be in one location, but there wasn't sufficient space. Um, that one totals $1,743.56. Um, and the final change order, change order number four, um, is based on the plumbing inspector requiring a new under under sink mixing valve in the two community room bathrooms um, at the Cahill development. And again, this all totals what the agenda um, reflected, which is $2,711.62. It does not put us over budget. We are still under budget on this project. It's just the final step we need to be able to finish and close out this project. Thank you, Jack. Is there someone who would um, offer uh, a motion to approve these three change orders as a group? 
So moved. Thank you, Commissioner Jones. Any second? Second. Thank you, Commissioner Brooks. Now for discussion. Uh, I want to thank Jack for reading it, but it's so confusing. You know, why does it have to be simple in its complexities? I don't understand that. Right. And it, 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 it makes me literal. What is the actual cost and why? So with that, I'm going to abstain from it. But I have known people who lived at Cahill have always talked about the brawler and all kinds of stuff and water and all that. So on one level, I'm very happy that they're getting some satisfaction, but it's it's too it's too convoluted for me to feel comfortable saying yes. Anyone else with any questions for Jack on this that might help them uh, come to a vote on whether to accept these change orders as a group? Hearing none, I'll ask Jack to please call the roll. Chairperson Carney? Yes. Vice Chairperson Richards? Um, she's muted. I'm going to... Unmute, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, you have to ask. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? Yes. Commissioner Tarbot in Springfield? Abstention. Commissioner Cancel. All right, it looks like we might have lost. Oh, no, he's here. He's there. Commissioner Cancel. It looks then, like. Uh, uh, it looks like Commissioner Richards is unmuted. Do you yes. want to go ahead? Yes. We'll Thanks. ask once again. Commissioner Cancel? On yes. the three change orders? Yes. Thank you. Thank you, that carries. Okay, and you show that to be four yes, one abstention? Or five yes? Four yes, one abstention? What are we missing? Wait a minute. No, I have five. Five, five eight, yes, one five. abstention. Thank you so much. That brings us to the next item on the agenda, which is um, the motion to approve the executive director to a enter into a six month emergency management contract with Hatful Housing Authority due to the resignation of their executive director. And before I ask someone to put this on the floor, I'll go ahead and ask Jack if you would like to um, give us some background on this. Yes, so um, the um, our portfolio management specialist at HLC um, reached out to Kara um, based on the executive director of the Hatfield Housing Authority turning in her resignation. Um, as of next week, they will not have a director to oversee the daily operations, um, which essentially puts um, 40 um, individuals, elderly individuals at risk of not having anyone overseeing their um, current housing units. As the board knows, um, HLC formerly DHCD has come to us in the past. Um, as an agency, we have successfully done this two additional times back in 2020 during the midst of the pandemic. The executive director of Hampshire County Regional Housing Authority gave her short notice. Um, and then again in 2023, um, East Hampton Housing Authority had the same. Um, the difference between those two circumstances and now is that um, we have been asked to only bring to the board a six month emergency agreement so that this board has time to work through uh, and make some decisions on what their long-term plan is. Um, so a PHN came out um, this year clarifying that um, if you are going to enter into a management agreement that is long-term um, defined as more than six months, you would need to um, bring this to the LTOs and the residents as a whole at the agency that we'd be going to. In this case, it would be Hatfield. Um, and so, um, again, this is a six-month um, request to allow a management agreement. Um, Sharon Kimball and myself met with that board um, last week. 
Um, Kara had sent out a message to all of you commissioners on May 10th, letting us know that um, she had been contacted also by um, some board members at Hatfield Housing Authority, as well as Representative Sabadosa uh, and some contacts here at the mayor's office um, in Northampton. Um, just so the board knows, this does not affect Northampton's budget um, in any way. Um, there is a completely separate board meeting. Their board in Hatfield still exists. Um, they would be overseeing and making recommendations for the management of their housing authority. Um, Northampton Housing happens to have a member of our team who um, retired last year, um, who coincidentally still helps out on a part-time basis, who lives in Hatfield. Um, Sharon and I have spoken to her about providing some interim help, um, meet, being that she is local and lives in Hatfield, um, and she is willing to, to do that. So there would be some assistance from the executive team, but this would not take away from the daily operations at Northampton because we actually have a staff member who um, can increase their hours and assist because they are on a part-time basis. Now, um, the goal of the Housing Authority, us here in Northampton, um, has always been to help where we can. Um, this would be one of those additional times where we're stepping in to support another Housing Authority on a temporary basis. Um, and then um, if this ends up being long-term, um, Kara would bring this back to this board um, after that board has made some decisions. Um, and so I'll I'll turn it back to you, Chairperson Carney, if there's any questions. Thank you. First, <clears throat> before I put it on the floor, I'll ask if there is someone who would offer a motion to approve the executive director to enter into a six-month emergency management contract with Hatfield Housing Authority. Is there a motion to approve? Chairperson Carney, I just want to mention we need to um, put this as contingent upon Hatfield um, voting um, as well, just so you're <clears throat> there's one additional vote that they have to have. So um, this vote would be contingent on them so that there's no delay for the residents in Hatfield that we could enter into that agreement um, based on their decision. Are you suggesting that the motion has to be changed than the one that is listed on the agenda? Or are you suggesting that that can just be a clarification that you had explained once we put it on the floor? Yes. I just wanted to clarify it before. Okay. Is there a motion from the floor to approve? Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Moved and seconded. And now I see Commissioner Tarbutton, please. Well, I just want to let you know, this was written, uh, I got Kara's message on the 16th. And Jack, isn't that the time that you went, to, did you go to, I, from the letter, I think it said that they were going there on the 16th, right? So, to Hatfield. Um, Chairperson Carney, am I allowed to respond? Yes, please. I got the, I got that communication on the 10th. Yeah, so the, the communication from Kara was on the 10th um, and the, the meeting that Sharon and I, and I attended um, was on the 16th. 16th, Sharon, yes, it was on the Thursday. 16th. Thursday, yep. This one. Okay, uh, well, all right, then I, I somehow thought that, because I'm wondering if that was the 10th, because there is another candidate who's, who's also would speak, and that's Amherst. Just because you're asked something doesn't mean that you should take it. And I just wanna say, we have a lot of stuff. Yeah. I, I, I like the fact, sort of, when people say, but we want to have this poor people over there. We're so generous. Help us. Help Northampton just exclusively. And that's not happening. And I don't know about the managerial skills that are there. Good. But in East Hampton, I know there was a woman of color who didn't even know it was available who would apply with 30 years experience. So it's like somebody here is telling somebody here and somebody's telling that. So you don't even get a chance to open it broaden it so it's almost like if something's wrong with it and I, I i can't wait to tell uh, uh mr augustus this you wait till it positively has to be there why aren't you planning for this before it happens why aren't you 
I hate to use that word grooming because I think that's happening in some other way here. But why aren't we prepared for that? And I get very nervous and I don't want people going, but they asked me. Oh. The diocese sent pedophilia priests to one place after another. We see how great that is. I'm not saying that that's the case right there, but I'm just saying just because you're being asked, you can always say no. And you don't even know if it's happened yet. And it's like jumping the gun. I do appreciate the fact that it is least coming to the board instead of having a management team decide this, because that's what happened last time. And I can't believe that happened. So in the right directions of the format, I don't think any residents knew about it, maybe because of that six month, this, da, 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 da. But I only found out about it. Uh, I, I heard this, uh, LTO knew, but I only found out about it. I don't think residents knew about it. But I think, um, who does it benefit? You really have to ask yourself. And I, I think that there is an elderly building there and there, I'm not quite sure, I'm trying to look at it, but there's somebody else who may, it may be offered to. And I think that Northampton, East Hampton, Huntington, that's enough. Take care of that. I just told you about some drugs issues going on here. You just put in a Narcan for a reason, not for decoration. And also I think a person may have management skills but when somebody is telling tenants that I'm trying to get them fired, that's not leadership. That's division. And that should be rewarded. Don't need to give praises and raises for bad behavior. Thank you, Commissioner Tarbutton. Commissioner Jones? Yeah. Um, I don't even know what that just was that I was listening to because it was all over the place, but I believe to speak to what we're supposed to be speaking about, um, the way Jack Redmond laid it out, it would be a vote to take this up for six months if Hatfield approved. So all we're being asked to do is if Hatfield says, okay, um, we'll go with Northampton, then we're in position to do that. Or maybe Hatfield says, no, nope, we want to go with Amherst. Okay, fine. But, um, and then if it goes beyond six months, this comes back to the board to get into um, long-term discussion. But we're not there yet. We're talking about six months. And um, I'm basically in favor of it. And I'm also tired. I am not going to be here until midnight tonight. I didn't sign up for school board or city council for a reason. You're welcome to go to sleep. I'm not. Do I'm just not doing that. Please don't interrupt. <laughs> Thank you, Commissioner Jones. Um, any other uh, questions? I have a. I have. A, I have. Yes, a please. Point. Yes, please. I have Commissioner a point Brooks. of view. If the residents who live in Hatfield public housing had come to Kara first and asked her to take that office because their um, director was leaving and leaving them without a director, I would say yes, but that's not the case. They're not asking Kara. She's submitting it because Jack and Sharon went over there um, and talked to some people. Commissioner Brooks, did you get the email from Kara on um on May 10th? Because yes, it sounds I did. like yeah, she says there that before well before Jack and Sharon went over, she says yes, that she but, was asked, she was asked I'm, for saying, like, I'm saying that the addendum now that the people of Hatfield have to approve it should have been laid out first. That's what I'm saying should have happened. Not us going over and and or Kara going uh Kara being asked by those people. I don't I I I, I just think that we overreached. And we have overreached Again, in they... three three different places. So now we're going to a fourth. So who's gonna be next? Bay State? <laughs> okay, I understand your question. I, I, I before, before I before yeah. I turn it back to because I don't see another hand before I turn it back to Commissioner Car Tarbutton who wants to also chime in I do and I'm sorry I know that for, I may not have expected this to be so long as I understand the timeline Hatfield contacted well 
the state first and let them know what was happening, that they are suddenly their executive director was leaving. The state, and as I understand also the state representative, reached out not only to Northampton, but as Commissioner Tarbutton has pointed out, also to Amherst. Then the executive director sent an email to the board to just let them know that she had been approached by Hatfield Housing Authority and by the state. I understand that folks would, would have preferred that, um, that they went ahead and made their decision first. I think that's what you're saying, rather than ask us to approve exactly. and yes, let yes. them make their decision. I think the reason is their executive director is leaving at the end of May, which is just next week. So I think because she's leaving on, uh, I'm going to ask, actually, Jack, could you clarify this timeline? I think as no. I understand it, this, it's not a re, it was not in a deliberate attempt, certainly, to um, in any way, um, no, so the only reason we're asking in advance is because we would have to have another meeting on Memorial Day. Or yeah, actually, I'm that's... sorry, we'd have to have another meeting the day after Memorial Day. Because the, the, executive, yeah. the executive director works only Monday and Wednesdays in Hatfield. And so her last day is the 29th. We don't have enough time based on the posting requirements for the open meeting law to have a meeting in time and get a contract ratified to assist. That's the only reason we're bringing it to the board before they have voted, because they will not have someone on the 29th. Thanks for the clarification. And I hope that answers your, your question and your concern, Commissioner Brooks. And I see <clears throat> Commissioner Richards also has her hand raised. Please, Commissioner Richards. You must unmute in order for us to hear you. Does she have to, she doesn't have to ask to unmute, right? There she is. I got it. Yeah, I'm here now. Um, sorry for the disruption, but I have a very ill husband that I'm trying to balance along with this meeting, which seems to be extended far way too long. But uh, in, in with regards to the motion, um, I think it's an honor for us to be asked and it's certain to, to do this by Representative Sabadoza, the mayor. As you know, I mean, uh, our board has been um, up for controversy on many issues. <laughs> and I think it's time for us to come together, be neighborly. And I'm not going to do it in a whiny tone, but I think that Hatfield is a perfect fit, at least for six months to see if we like it and to see if they like it. So I don't think it's gonna drain anything from uh, our housing authority. So I would be very much in favor of it. I will vote yes. Thank you, Commissioner Richards. And yes, Commissioner Cancel, please. Uh, yeah, I just wanna say that um... I do appreciate um, this being brought up uh, to the um, board in a, in, a, in a different way than, than it happened with the Sampton. Um, this seems to be a bit more organized and transparent. And um, I have to agree with um, Commissioner Jones that this is where where this is uh, this is sort of a, a, a an emergency situation that we're not stuck with long term and we're simply just open to the idea of being offered the opportunity to man manage that for six months. Um, I'm now having said that, I'm not sure that if it comes to the board in the future uh, for that I would support that. But I certainly support uh, this effort here to uh, help out on an emergency basis. Oh, thank you, Commissioner Cancel. I think Commissioner Tarbutton wanted to um, speak once again. Is that correct? Yeah, I just wanted to say, like I said, um, 
We weren't the only two. And I think Greenfield has also expressed an interest. And then there are a couple of other people perhaps who may have expressed interest too. And I think that again, just because you ask, you can always say no, because there's some incentives, there's some money incentives. It doesn't go to the tenants. I think uh, it doesn't go to Northampton, it doesn't go to East Hampton, it doesn't go to, uh, it goes to the executive director and her bunch. And I think that those are things that should be taken in consideration. It's a bit much. Let's get some things done, taken care of here. And I will say it as a commissioner, what I have been through when I first got here, what I've been going through here, I don't think this administration would want to bring that over there. And those are things, and we're in mediation trying to work on it. The day of the mediation, she told somebody that I was trying to get her fired. And two hours later, we're in mediation. Breaks the spirit. We spent money and all that, and the problems are still going on. What I started with when I first got here. That is not a leader. That is not something we want to export. And I am sorry for the commissioners who feel like it's too long here. Yeah, border, uh, border, public border, housing border, is it's an border, issue. Border. It deserves more than 20 minutes. Border, and if you don't want to go to sleep. I, I just want to I just want to ask Commissioner Richards. Yes, please. Yeah, What's the point I of think order? we're I just think we're veering off the uh what we're talking about. I don't think it's relevant. I'd rather stick to the motion. Okay. I think Commissioner Tarbutton has finished her remarks. I don't see any I, other I, I wasn't. I was just saying this is well, part of wait, job. Uh, but again, please keep your remarks okay, okay. To the, exactly to the to the emergency six month contract that we've been asked to approve. And I, I would say no for the reasons talking about that your I mediation think. with the executive, cool. all those things which are not relevant. No, yes, it is. It's about, it is exactly because it is about the leadership and you want someone who exemplifies leadership and who can help other people. And what's been going on over here hasn't been doing that. And I think that people are always when it's coming doing with the public uh, tenants, it's too late. It's time for 20 minutes on that subject. Then resign and go to bed. Let's call the motion. Oh, OK. We've asked for a motion uh, to call a question. And if there's no objection, I'll go ahead and ask. Is there an objection to call it going ahead to a vote? Somebody I do. Else? Is there more you want to say? Is that what you're no, saying? No, 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 no. Go ahead. Okay, then I'll ask, is there anyone else who has any other comment before we go to uh, the roll call? Please raise your hand if you have any other comment. Would you please call the roll, please, Jeff? Chairperson Carney? Yes. Vice Chairperson Richards? Yes. Commissioner Jones? Yes. Commissioner Brooks? No. Commissioner Tarbutton Springfield? Absolutely not. Commissioner Cancel? I'm sorry, Commissioner Cancel, you're muted. Yes, yes, sorry. Four yes, two no. That motion carries. Thank you, everyone. And um, I want to see, I think there is not any uh, item on the agenda. So I'll ask then if there's a final motion from the floor, which would be to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Is there a second? Second. Thank you so much. All those in favor, say aye. We don't need a roll call on that. Aye.